look at this. We got a Nintendo Entertainment System in there. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, it's your boy Burf. Back again for another thrift store toy hunt adventure. Got shaved up a little bit. Had kind of that big bushy beard going on, but I shaved it and I look like a different person, I feel like. So I feel like I look skinnier. Which, uh, going into the new year, that's my goal, folks. Gonna try and lose a few poundages. Try to get some bigger muscles. Or just get some muscle. I don't have any. I don't have any left, man. <laughs> so, anyway, we're at uh, the, the thrift store. That's where we're starting off today's adventure. We're gonna keep our fingers crossed. We're gonna pray, pray, pray that the vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. And one of the reasons I'm starting off here is the other day I was here and I found a... Uh, a vintage 1987 uh, muscle man 86 87 but I found a muscle man and uh, I had looked over the other shelves the baggies they kind of hoping maybe there were some in other bags but I didn't see any but you know I got to thinking maybe they're just in the back and they didn't make their way out yet so I figured we would pop in here and take a look around and see if we can find some muscle men that's kind of the that's the the purpose of the hunt at this store is to see if we can find some muscle. Um, yeah, <laughs> some muscle. <laughs> and uh, But when we're done, we're gonna be hitting up some other thrift stores today. We got a great adventure in store for you. So let's head in here and see what kind of goodies they got. Well, we'll start with the glass case. And we've got some uh, die cast, some top trump quiz with a twist, Harry Potter style. Oh, that, uh, that deer antler's kind of cool. Got some Funkos down here. Kuro Girl? I don't know. Anything over here? We got some Block Tech Vet Clinic. All right, I'm not seeing anything here I'm really interested in, so let's go check the baggies. All right, what do we got here? Is this an Optimus Prime? Nah, just kind of looks like it a little bit. What's in this bag? Uh, looks like we've got some Shopkins in here. That's kind of cool. What's in this bag back here? Oh, we got a Captain America, like Infinity Game piece. And nothing else. And we've got a T-Rex, like monster truck looking thing. Some Bakugan, little green army men. some plush stuff over here uh, we got uh, like a space jam girl bunny I don't know what her name is oh it's a cool looking dino not anything I'm interested in but he's pretty cool he's heavy too Oh, look at that. We got a, I'm pretty sure that's a vintage My Little Pony. What do they want for that bag? $3? I'll probably grab that just for her. She's kind of cool. And we got a bag of die cast here. Oh, look at that TMNT. Man, that's awesome. We got some Thomas, the train stuff. And this bag has a transformer in it, but he's missing his wheels. On both sides, I think. Oh, there's a uh, a Karn from Final Faction right there. I don't know if you can see that. All right, what do we have here? Mm -hmm. Nothing. That is maybe some sort of uh, Power Ranger thing, possibly. Lots of smalls in here. There's a Smurfette, and then this one's got some Shopkins in it as well. Some dinosaurs, little dinosaurs, and big dinosaurs. All right, well, what do we got here? Some sort of transformer. Is he made out of metal? Some sort of 
truck. Is that like a version of Optimus Prime, maybe? See, the only problem with these things is that when they're in these bags like this, I can't tell if all the pieces are there. And if they're not there, I don't want to buy it because, you know, then I just buy junk. I'll have to, I'll have to look into that further and make a decision. And speaking of Optimus Prime, here's one right here. But there's nothing else in that bag. And here's another Transformer right here. It looks like he is probably some sort of dinosaur, maybe. But I think he's like busted up. Oh, look at this. Uh, Kellogg's part of the game basketball that's cool oh and it's got snap crackle and pop on it <laughs> I might get that bag just for that ball that's cool oh we got these how to tame your dragon dragons with their saddles and uh we got a lucy plush and I don't know what that is. Maybe some sort of Velociraptor. Oh, look at these old Batgammon birds. That's cool. I haven't seen those in a long time. And I think that might be a Rescue Heroes Dalmatian. Gotta oh, check out this guy. Oh, he's pretty cool. <laughs> I have not seen one of these before. I wonder who makes him. Uh, I'll see if I can do like a like a reverse image search on uh, eBay or something. All right, this is actually cool. This is a Chap May Loch Ness monster, and it's selling for about thirty bucks. I can get it for three ninety nine, and I actually have some figures that will go with it perfectly. So I'm gonna grab this. Oh, check out this big guy. Oh, he's colorful, and we got this guy too. Lots of dinosaurs today. And we got a 12 inch Wonder Woman. And here's another colorful dino. And then we got this La La Loopsy over here. Oh wow, look at this burger car. <laughs> that is cool. And we got our friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and Hulk being crushed by a Vortex RC car. Oh my God. Look at the size of these binoculars. <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> Hey, I see some action figures over there. <laughs> that is cool. I guess you would probably, I guess it mounts maybe like on your tree house or something like that. And then you can spy on the neighbors. <laughs> That's fun. All right, so I'm actually gonna put this pony back. I just discovered um, it's uh, My Little Pony, the Bridge Direct reproduction from 2017. So this is not a G1 My Little Pony. So yeah, we're gonna put her back. I'm glad I looked at that because I almost got duped. What do we got here? Oh, we got a Cabbage Patch Kid. That looks like an older one. Pretty certain, it's got a diaper on. Let's see here, oh yeah, I'm sure these tags look old. Let's see if there's a uh, 1982. She's kind of cute. All right, well, I'll tell you what. If she wasn't $14.99, I would probably get her and I would flip her because they can sell anywhere from like $20 up to $40. I don't really know, you know why the difference in price, but it's a range of $20 to $40. Bucks. Apparently, the ones with red hair are a little more rare so I guess they're more desirable. I saw people trying to sell them for like 200 bucks, but when I looked at the sold filter, there were none sold for that price. It was like the 20 to $40 range. Some of them sold for $10 and under, um, but for $14.99, if she were like $2.99, I'd grab her and resell her to somebody that would give her a loving home, but I'm just not gonna pay 15 bucks to make like $5 on it, you know? So uh, that's that's a ridiculous price. All right, y'all. I got my haul. So let's head back to the car because it's not that far. It's time for show and tell. 
Let's do some show and tell. All right, first up, I scored this Maximize Your Performance End Strike Elite 12 Elite Nerf Darts. So this was just in the bag of something else I picked up, but I figured I could probably flip this for a few dollars on eBay. And I got this. This is the main reason I picked up that, that bag that had the darts in it is because of this basketball. It's from 1998. It's from Kellogg's. Kellogg's part of the game. And uh, I just thought it was cool. I, you know, I love the old Kellogg's characters. Snap, crack, one pop. Dig em smacks, you know, we got Toucan Sam on there. Tony the Tiger himself. So I just uh, thought the ball was pretty cool and uh, just gonna keep it in my personal collection. I also got a screwdriver. <laughs> so I actually, I, I probably am gonna keep this. Uh, recently, I picked up a Play School racing car and it originally came with like a screwdriver that kind of sort of looked like this one. So I'm gonna see if it'll actually fit the screws on it and uh just keep it for that vehicle but i snagged this as well this like i don't know it's kind of like a squish mallow but it's not it's not a squish mallow but it's like kind of soft like that you know what i mean this was in that bag too i don't know maybe i'll list it and try and sell it for a few bucks or something like that i don't think it's really worth anything i don't know i didn't even look it up so i can't really say that but this was in that bag as well and then today's main attraction is Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster, made by Chap May. So I've got these uh, Clash of the Titans figures at home that I think will go pretty well on display with this thing. I was really surprised. This thing is selling for like 30 bucks. I was like, dang, man, that's a, that's a lot of money for something like this. But it is really cool. And it's the first time I've seen one like this so yeah i paid four bucks for it i think that's worth it but uh yeah this will probably be staying in my collection as well all right well you know we didn't get any muscle but that's all right we got a few more thrift stores we can hit up and we're always on the hunt for vintage toys vintage 70s toys vintage 80s toys vintage 90s toys all of that good vintage jazz worthy stuff so uh, I don't know exactly which store we're going to hit up next. We might uh, might take a little venture over to Richardson and try hitting up this place called The Thrift Shop. And uh, so we just came out of the thrift store. Now we're going to maybe head to The Thrift Shop and probably hit up a goodie wheel along the way. So let's head that way and see what kind of goodies they got. All right, my friends. We're not at The Thrift Shop. Not just yet. I forgot there's a thrift shitty on this side of town. So let's head in here and take a look around. See if we can pull some vintage toys, girls and boys. How <laughs> you like that Dr. Seuss rhyming? Oh, wow, look at this. We got a Nintendo Entertainment System in there. That's awesome. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have a look at that. And an Xbox 360. Dang. $24.99. Oh, there's a Super Mario 3 in there. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Mm. Gonna need some tender love and care. What's that? Uh, oh, that's a Nintendo thing as well. Let's see this. What is that? Let me, uh, let me look that up. It says Wii. Hmm. I'll take this. Uh, can you hold this one for me while I shop? Sure. All right. So what do we got here? Uh, not much in the case. All right. So we're back here in the toy section. Let's see if we can find any goodies. That Nintendo is an awesome score for 50 bucks. It's got a Super Mario 3 cartridge in there, which is awesome. And a drummer boy. But I'm not seeing anything else. Oh man, how awesome is that? We got a second Nintendo Entertainment System. I found one earlier this year. Uh, I think it was like back in the springtime or maybe like, or maybe it was about a year ago. It could have been like December, January of last year. Um, 
But yeah, so I got a Nintendo Entertainment System at the house. I love it. I've been playing it. Got a second one. We'll take a little closer look at it here in the car. I uh, may end up flipping this one. I'll probably keep the Super Mario 3 game, though. So I think I can probably get 100 bucks out of something like this. We shall see, but this thing is going to need a little tender love and care. It's kind of dirty. So uh, let's take a look at it. All right, check this crusty thing out. <laughs> it's, uh, like I said, it's pretty dirty. It's going to need some cleaning up. I love the fact that it's got a game in it. Super Mario 3. It, that is, uh, I have 1 and 2, but I don't have Super Mario 3. So I'll get some enjoyment out of that for sure. That's definitely going to be worth $50 worth of enjoyment for me. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to take this home, clean it up. i got to make sure it's actually working. The last one I bought wasn't working when I got it. I actually had to take it apart and clean it. And I got it, uh, got it functioning again, which was awesome. And I've been, been enjoying it ever since. So she said, I asked her, hey, do you, uh, do you have any games like that are in the back? And she was like, oh, I don't know. They're processing stuff, but they're going to be processing it all day today and bringing stuff out later tonight after five o'clock. So who knows? Maybe later today I'll get the girls and make a trip over here, maybe around 6 p.m. or something like that, or I'll just check back tomorrow morning. Um, well, tomorrow's Friday and I got my five thirst store Friday. Anyway, I'll check back. I might come back over here later tonight and see if they brought any games out and put them in the glass case. If not, this is cool enough, man. I'm super jazzed up over this. This thing's awesome. Even though I have one already, it's so cool to find vintage stuff like this out in the wild somebody just threw this away like i don't know who well maybe some some mother who's now like 75 years old and says ah, timmy doesn't need his nintendo anymore i'll just donate it to thrift shitty so who knows how it ended up here but it's in my hands now and i love that because i'll take tender loving care of it all right now let's go hit up the thrift shop oh, yeah that's right it's no longer called thrift shop it's called super thrift we got the super thrift, baby. All right, let's uh, head in here. Maybe they got some new VHS tapes. Uh, we'll check their toy section. It was pretty weak last time I was in here. But maybe we can pull a score out of here. All right, well, we'll check the toy section first. Is that some sort of Hulk motorcycle, maybe? Looks like they got some Barbies down here. Some dolls in the back. But that's about it. I'm not really seeing much of anything. This is kind of cool. It's some sort of castle. New Schwanstein Castle. Great castles of the world. Yeah, that is, uh, that's really pretty. I kind of want to just do like a little panorama of it, you know? Look at that. It's like you're right there. We got the courtyard. Yeah, that's a, uh, that is really cool. Well, here's the VHS. It's kind of secretly hoping that Chevy Chase VHS that we were looking for last time here would pop up. But I'm not really seeing it. I did see something down here though. Where was it? Oh yeah, John Wayne and Hondo. Actually, I want to get this just because in an episode of Married with Children, Al Bundy, like all he wanted to do was watch an episode, watch watch the movie Hondo. <laughs> what time is it? Hondo! <laughs> and that's the conclusion of the classic western Hondo. So I might actually pick this up. I don't think I've ever actually seen Hondo. There's Broken Arrow. All right, well, I'm gonna grab this. All right, well, we got Hondo. We got Hondo. All right, so I think uh, there's a Goodwill nearby. We'll probably hit that up. I don't know, we might hit up one or two more stores and then call it a day. We'll see. But wherever I end up, I will see you there. All right, well, we're not, we're not exactly at Goodwill yet. We're on our way there. We're at Old Thrifty Pants, Thrift Giant. So we're gonna head in here and take a look around. I've been here twice before and haven't really found anything, so. 
Hopefully they got some stuff on the shelves today. All right, well, let's see, what do we got? Looks like we got a Mario Kart back here. And uh, we got a Darth Vader, is he missing his lightsaber? Oh yeah, I have yet to find him with one. I found one one time where, just recently, where it was kind of partially busted off, but not a full lightsaber. And what's this back here? Is this like Shazam or something? Look at his face. <laughs> and then we got a Superman. Oh, you know what's funny? I was I like, so I had this Superman once before and I sold him. And I was just thinking two days ago, you know, I have not seen another one of those Superman, Supermans since that day I found this one. I'm not going to get him today. He's kind of marked up. I could probably clean him up. I just don't want to put the effort into it. But that's kind of cool to see him again. Oh, and down here, we've got, uh, we got a Batman. <laughs> oh, speaking of Batman, here's a big one. Oh yeah, he's got his cape and everything. His cape looks like it might be a little, little tattered possibly. That's a pretty sweet piece. I like the, uh, I like the face sculpt on him. How much they want for him? They're probably like, oh, six dollars. That's not too bad. Normally these guys, I've seen them like, you know, they'll mark them twelve ninety nine. So let's stand him up here. There we go. All right, we'll put his hands, his arms down, so he doesn't uh, doesn't tire out. Oh yeah, look at him. Pure awesomeness yeah what's this right here oh it's a skylanders giant carrying case are there any skylanders in it nope nothing in it cool carry case though oh we actually have uh two of these guys oh look somebody actually drew eyes on him that's funny this is what he's supposed to look like and then we got this captain america right here oh and look it's our friendly neighborhood spider-man here we got a box of stuff. What do we got in the box? Uh, lots of dinos. There's a Batman right there. Ten bucks for the box. Huh? Anything on the bottom? Yeah, just nothing I'm really interested in. What do we got over here? Another ten dollar box. So we got some sort of military action figure right there. We got a a Batman right here. This one has quite a bit of <clears throat> action figures in it. I think there's, I see like, maybe like three or four. And then there's this one. Yeah, nothing there. What's in this box? What's this dude? It says, uh, Mattel 2006. Hey, it's our boy Buzz. Looks like several Imagine Next type of figures in there. Some knights. Those might be like a little more vintage. Alright. Safari animals in this one. They got lots of boxes. Some Lego. Here's some more action figures. These are all like DVDs. Here's a box of Lego or something similar to Lego. What do they want for that box? Uh, 25 bucks for that box. That's a Lego. Got tons and tons of boxes. Look at that all, all the way down. I'm looking to see if we can find any that might have some vintage toys in them. There's a transformer. He's kind of cool looking. Let's see if we can flip this box around. Get a little better look at him. Oh yeah, there he is. Wow, look at all those. Those are all like older knight figures and stuff like that on the bottom. Those are cool, but I'm sure this is like, yeah, 20 bucks. I don't want to pay 20 bucks for that. And what's down here? This one looks promising. We got a woolly mammoth. 
some sort of, oh, it's the big show. Cool. Action figure right there. There's some more wrestlers. That looks like a core action figure. Oh, look at that fireman right there, the big red fireman. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, there's actually several wrestlers in there. There's another one, and there's Stone Cold Steve Austin. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Yeah, there's at least six wrestlers in there, maybe more in the middle. I don't know what this guy is right here. He's got this uh, shield breastplate on him. All right, y'all. Busted. Lots of boxes. Some cool stuff in those boxes, just not stuff that's really up my alley. And uh, the rest of the box with all the wrestlers was $30. I'm sure it was probably worth 30 bucks, but just don't need it right now. All right, let's go find us a Goody Wheel. Have we been to a Goody Wheel today? No, we haven't. I think we need to go get our Goody Wheel fix. All right, my friends, we are here. We are at the Goody Wheel, baby. Right there's the sign. And we got a sign right there too. We got two signs. We got three signs. This Goody Wheel wants us to know it's here. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully you got some vintage goodness in there. Let's see what they got. Oh, this little circus train. All right, here's their toy section. Let's see if they stocked up on anything since the last time we were here. Lots of, lots of Mickey D's toys. There's a Space Shuttle Discovery. What's this thing? Oh, beware. That's fun. All right. Oh, look. It's our boy Buzz. Hopefully that doesn't play forever. <laughs> oh, it says beware. Oh, that's cool. All right, and we got some sort of dyno. Well, there's a curious George plush. What's this right here? Oh, just some sort of RC. Got a little little Jeep thing going on here. Not really seeing anything though. Anything over here in Plushville? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm seeing nothing. All right, well, we got busted again. All right, so I don't normally come on this side of town a whole lot, like maybe a few times a year. This is the most I've been over here all year, really. Uh, so I'm not real familiar with the area where the stores are and all that stuff. So I got to plug something in the GPS. We may start heading back and stop at St. Vinnie de Paul, or we may hit up another store somewhere along the way. Again, wherever I end up, I will see you there. All right, guys and girls, we are at the Support Your Troops resale shop. They had a lot of stuff in here over Christmas. I'm assuming they probably cleared a lot of that out. Maybe they got some vintage toys in there now instead of modern toys. But we'll hit this up. We'll hit up St. Vinnie de Paul on the backside. We'll call it a day. What is this? Eight bit game cartridge. Data cast, all star collection, retro bit. Hmm. We got some upper deck cards here too. 2021, 2022. I'm interested in that though. I've never seen that. Yeah, we got some Power Rangers. Zord Link. We only went five bucks for that. That's not bad. 
And we got some Roblox. Still lots of wrestlers over here. I guess these are probably the unpopular wrestlers, huh? These were here before Christmas. Naruto. Could have been one for that. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't say. And looks like we got a box of or a bag of tiddlywinks here. Oh, check that out. It's a VHS of World War II, Erwin Rommel, the Desert Fox. We'll pick that up too. I think they only want a buck for it. All right, guys, well, we got a little score. We got this uh, Ghostbusters Proton Pack. We'll do a quick show and tell. It takes batteries and I think it might pr actually project like a ghost on the wall. Where did I park my car? Oh, I'm over here. All right, I'll see you at the car. We'll do some show and tell. All right, first up, like I said, I grabbed this World War II VHS tape of Erwin Rommel. It says, meet Erwin Rommel, the German field commander who inspired awe and respect from his men and even his enemies. This documentary reveals the legend of the general they called the Desert Fox. So he was in charge of the North Africa campaign, that the North African theater. And uh, this should be interesting. I actually have an, an action figure of Erwin Rommel, a very, very nice one. I'll see if I can pull him out and uh, do a little show and tell with him here as I'm talking about this VHS tape. But uh, yeah, I ended up, I got this figure on, uh, I think Amazon a few years ago. And it was uh, like so detailed, like unbelievably detailed. And I was like, man, I gotta have that. So anyway, I uh, ended up picking up the VHS. And then I got the Proton Pack with the Proton Gun. So it's got a little button here on the side. I can see it takes batteries right there. And like I said, I think it might actually project like a ghost. Or something like that. I don't know if it makes sound as well. It's a possibility. We'll have to test it out when we get home. But uh, let's see if hopefully it still works. But yeah, so I got the Ghostbusters Proton Pack too. All right, next stop, final destination, St. Vinnie de Paul. Hey, look at this haul we got going on over here. We got a nice little haul. We got the Proton Pack. We've got Nessie. We've got a vintage Nintendo Entertainment System. We've got Hondo. We've got Erwin Rommel. We're doing good. We're doing good, folks. All right. <laughs> St. Vinny de Paul, here I come. All right, well, what do we got? We got this giant dollhouse. Like a remote control airplane. Or, I'm sorry, Choppa. A helicopter. And we got a puzzle. Here's all the toys. Looks like we got some new baggies here, so maybe, just maybe, we'll find something. I like these, I like these glasses, these sunglasses, or fun glasses, we'll call them. Like a pokey ball in there. Some sort of dinosaur figure. Looks like he's missing his wings. Or whatever those were. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything there. Some Mickey D's toys and just some junk. What's it down here? What's this? Well, we got some uh, plastic cowboys and Indians in there. I'm not sure how old those are though. Not 
got a bunch of those. I really don't need any more. Not those kind, anyway. Alright, right, well, I'm not seeing anything else. This dollhouse is nice. And then we got this T-Rex looking dude. Look at all these VHS. Dang. Jetsons the movie. That one's in a lot better shape than the one I have at the house. I might actually buy that again just because it's in better shape. Aladdin. <clears throat> Let's put this off to the side. Ten Commandments. I've got that one. Man, there's a ton of VHS here. Here's a Casper. I don't have that one. Put him off to the side. I've got a little collection of Casper VHS going at the moment. Alvin and the Chipmunks meet Frankenstein, huh? Yeah, that could be fun. I'll put it up here. The Rescuers. Great Muppet Caper. Oh, there's some DuckTales. Treasure of the Lost Map. Hell yeah. We're definitely getting that. Maybe they'll have some more DuckTales in here. I love DuckTales. Not interested in the movie, just the cartoons, as far as Casper goes. The Hobbit. It was a good movie. I remember watching that when I was a kid. Mary Poppins. Annie. Fish tank video. That's funny. Norman. Power Rangers. All right, I'm gonna put the phone down for a minute and kind of dig through here so I can... The Bridge on the River Kwai. That's actually based on a true story. I'm gonna get that. All right, so I'm gonna put my phone down and kind of dig through here and see what I can get. All right, we got another VHS haul. Man, I am amassing quite a collection of VHS right now. I'm gonna have to get like a shelving unit to store it on. But let me show you which ones I picked up. All right, first up, DuckTales, the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. I couldn't pass this up, man. I freaking love me some DuckTales. I actually found uh, another DuckTales VHS that had like, I think like two or three different episodes on it from the cartoon that was on weekday afternoons back in the 80s and it was awesome and I'm really pleased to find this. So I got DuckTales. How could I not get The Princess Bride? I mean, that's a classic. This is actually one of Nicole's favorite movies. I've never actually seen this movie, although I have found some of these figures in thrift stores before and uh, I was actually pleasantly surprised to see that this VHS is selling for between $15 and $20 on eBay. So I may watch it and then end up flipping it or I might just keep it. I don't know, but I know I can get some money back on it. By the way, I got six VHS in all and only paid $6.50 for all of them. I also got this movie. I've never seen this before. It kind of reminded me like of an Indiana Jones thing. It says Secret of Treasure Mountain. And it's something about a, a finding a Spanish treasure map and going on some adventure. So I figured, hey, why not? You know, give it a try. I got the, got the VHS for a buck, so let's give it a go. And instead of getting The Hobbit in the clamshell, I opted for this uh, paper cover, this cardboard cover one. I, I just, I love the cardboard cover ones versus the clamshells. Uh, I don't know why, but I do. I mean, I do know why. I just think like, I love the way everything is just you know wrapped around the case you know versus like a clamshell is just like kind of 
front and back and maybe the side or whatever but yeah anyway i it, it doesn't matter i got the hobbit and then this the bridge on the river kwai this is an old movie but this is actually based on a true story in world war ii a bunch of american and british soldiers were captured and they were forced to build a railroad through the jungle uh as slave labor and like thousands of men died only a few actually survived towards the end of the war whatever when they were rescued but uh yeah what is this a winner of seven academy awards wow best picture 1957 best director best actor best screenplay best cinematography best editing best music scoring i'm gonna watch this probably tonight wow <laughs> We, we bought a lot of stuff today, but you know, I only spent a total of, well, you know, I guess there's the Nintendo, so that was like 50 bucks. If it wasn't for the Nintendo, I think I only spent like $15, like besides the, cause the, uh, this right here, uh, the Proton Pack, I got it, I got it for three bucks. So it's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, hey, you know what? I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty jazzed up over today's score, especially the Nintendo, the VHS tapes, you know, we've got some good stuff going on here. And hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash that like button. That helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button because I got a lot more great content coming your way and over 650 videos that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.